Here we are at the Forum in Rome, the political and economic centre of the city. Public life in Rome was dominated by a very small group of people, making up at most 1% of the population. What was a day like in the life of this 1%? Even though they were so few, we know quite a lot about them. Being dominant in society, they have left us a lot of texts describing their lives, such as letters and novels. Archaeologically, many of their fine and well-built houses and monuments have been preserved and attracted attention. We're now in the home of an elite Roman family. The typical day began with a morning reception for people dependent upon the family. These so-called clients were received in a finely decorated reception room such as this, where the valuables and ancestor images of the family were displayed to show off their history and their wealth. Roman society was imbued with these power relationships, and so great care was taken to confirm mutual loyalty and enhance hierarchy. The clients and family servants then accompanied the male members of the family to the Forum, providing them with a dignifying escort through the streets of Rome. Here at the Forum, formal business took place, such as political actions here at the Senate House, uh, economic negotiations in the market buildings, religious rituals in the temples. But perhaps most importantly of all, to be seen and to mingle with others in a game of status and prestige. In the early afternoon, formal business at the Forum closed. The male members of the family, with their servants still in attendance, now went on to the public baths. Well inside the baths, they could have a nice dip in a swimming pool like this, with nautical-themed frescoes on the walls. And afterwards, they could have a nice massage or a visit to the sauna. A new type of huge baths evolved in the empire, which not only offered cold and heated baths, but also sports grounds, concert halls, libraries and shops as a multi-purpose entertainment complex. In the mid-afternoon, the males returned home after seven hours on the town. Unfortunately, ancient texts are male-focused and do not tell us much about what the rest of the family did during the day. While the maids were gone, the female members of the family seem to have either spent time at home, at leisure or doing textile crafts, or they could travel escorted in litters through the city, visiting friends or going to the baths before the males arrived. Both male and female members of the family reunited for dinner. These dinners often took place in these finely decorated dining rooms, such as this might have been. They were very select affairs with only nine guests, which could range from friends to clients and sometimes include higher ranking members of the society. During these dinners, the guests were not sitting up eating as during the day, but instead reclining on luxurious couches. Thus ended the formal day of the elite Romans and also our short tour of their daily lives.